What's going on today, guys? Shane from the Maryland and Delaware Group of Long and Foster Property Management. Um, just wanted to come to you real quick about a really important issue um, that I've been seeing uh, lately. Uh, and it's it's been throughout the time that I've actually been in real estate, um, but it seems to have picked up a little bit here in the past couple of months. Uh, it's the Craigslist scams. So what is a Craigslist scam? Um, a Craigslist scam is taking an actual listing, a real listing, and someone, a scammer, will take it, post it on Craigslist for something substantially cheaper, um, and they will use the same photos that we have, use the same description, all that good stuff. However, what they will tell you uh, through the process is that they've let their real estate professional go because we wanted to charge way too much money, um, and they're going to give it to you for a great reduction on price because they're leaving town, they're, they're, they're picking up to go somewhere, either internationally or um, to another state, so on and so forth. But um, this is when it really starts to pick up. They'll start to actually ask for, you know, more more information, social, date of birth, all that kind of stuff, um, which seems standard. Um, but right there from the jump, you should know um, in most cases, if someone cannot meet you in person, don't give any information out. Do not give any pertinent information to anyone that you can't meet with, see, uh, or speak with uh, in person, like I said. Uh, so the next thing is they'll give you a, a number to call to make you feel warm and fuzzy. It's a Google number. Most of the time it doesn't work. And when it does work, it's terrible reception, terrible service. You can barely hear them. So they prefer to go back and forth email. Um, they'll get as much information from you. Heck, I've seen in some situations they've asked for photos from people of dogs and families and so on and so forth. Don't send this stuff, guys. I mean, this is this is way too far out there uh, in terms of, of how much information anyone would ever need um, to make sure that you're selected for the home. But um, in this case, you know, again, I would always make sure to cross-reference any of these listings that you're finding on Craigslist on an actual real estate website. Zillow, Trulia, Hotpads are the three major ones uh, that I would go to if, as a consumer just to see if anyone else was listing it, if there was a real estate agent listing or if there was a homeowner listing it to make sure that you're actually speaking to the person that you're supposed to be speaking to. Um, and then the other thing is if they're asking you to transfer money, MoneyGram or send it to this place, don't send any money. Without any keys in your hand, do not transfer any money to anyone. If you've not met with anybody, you haven't haven't uh, uh, signed a contract that that has been verified to be legal for this property. Do not do any of this, guys. So, real important um, in any situation like this on Craigslist, make sure you're just referring back to your real estate websites or call a real estate professional to see if this is real or not.